The month of June in Kansas is known throughout the state as the month of wheat harvest. Farmers everywhere wait patiently for their crop to ripen, and when it does, they frantically harvest their crop as quickly as possible in order to harvest it at its best. In the days leading up to wheat harvest, however, we spend June doing odd jobs in the shop, working on irrigation for the corn, and, as you can see here, scraping the cattle pens of manure. Once we pile the manure, we can load it to haul and spread on the fields. Hay harvest also occurs in June. As we talked about in the May video, the hay is swathed and laid on the ground in rows to dry. After a few hot summer days, the rows of hay are raked together so that they will dry evenly. After the hay is raked, we will wait for the right time to bale it, which is whenever the hay reaches a certain moisture level. Here you can see my brother Kendall round baling up the alfalfa. Sometimes the hay will reach the correct moisture level during the day, but oftentimes it gets so hot during the day that we have to bale the alfalfa at night, as seen here. Brown bale alfalfa! Once the hay is baled, we load up the bales and take them back to the farm where they will be fed to the cattle later on in the winter. Here you can see me pick up the round bale and stack it on the trailer. And here is Nathan unloading the bales back at the farm. We bale up the hay so that we can start stacking. Throughout the month of June, we are preparing for what is one of our most important events of the year, wheat harvest. Once we pull the combines out of the sheds, we attach the headers and give each of the machines a thorough washing. Jobs like greasing the machines, changing the oil, blowing out the air filters, shown here, and fueling up the combines are all done to make sure we are ready when the first day of harvest comes. Here we are out in the field harvesting the wheat. Wheat is the most popular crop grown here in Kansas and is a lot of fun to harvest. As you can see, the combines cut the wheat and thresh the seeds out of the plant. The seeds are then transferred into the grain bin, where they are stored until they are able to be unloaded into the trucks. Once the trucks are loaded full of wheat, they are driven to a grain elevator in town, where they will be unloaded. Here I am, waiting in line at the elevator with the semi full of wheat. And here is the truck in front of me, unloading. When our combines harvest the wheat, they leave the remains of the plant in a row for our baler to bale up into round bales. These round bales of straw will be mixed with the alfalfa bales you saw earlier as part of the ration we feed our cattle. Still harvesting wheat. It's about 11.30 p.m. Never gets old. Well, Maybe a little. As I said, we will harvest wheat from about mid-morning to very late at night, as long as the straw stays dry enough for us to cut it. This means that during wheat harvest, farmers will put in consecutive 15 or 16 hour days, and by the end of harvest, we can get a little worn out. The morning after. I'm tired, but we got a lot done. 
Another great part of wheat harvest is getting to eat with your family in the field. This is done to save a little time and the food is always delicious. You probably wonder why farmers are in such a rush to get their wheat crop harvested that they can't even go home to eat a meal. Well, the answer is that wheat is at its best quality when it is harvested directly after it ripens. The earlier you can harvest the wheat, the better. There is also the threat of storms destroying the crop through hail or heavy rain, which are both common at this time of year in Kansas. So, what is so special about wheat harvest? Well, in Kansas, wheat harvest takes center stage in our communities. As you can see, our neighbors will be harvesting across the road from us and hauling wheat past us in the trucks. On the way to the elevator, all of us wheat truck drivers give a friendly wave to one another, even though we know we'll probably meet on the same road later in the day. The amber waves of grain blowing back and forth in the Kansas wind are a sight to behold. And there is nothing quite like a combine harvesting wheat as the sun sets. June is my favorite month of the year on the farm, and I hope you can see why. Wheat harvest is a lot of work, and there are breakdowns, 100 degree temperatures, and varying levels of stress that can make it less enjoyable. But at the end of the week or so of harvesting, we can sit back, admire our work, and rejoice in what a bountiful harvest God has blessed us with again. And that is the life of a farmer.